What is up? What is good? What is Gucci? It is your girl Petty Page back at it again with yet another video for you hoes. Okay, so today I have a bit of a weird video for you guys because I was in a bit of a weird predicament. As you guys know, I have been producing my own series here on YouTube based on the Gabby Hanna docu-series that she is producing. However, I came to a bit of a full stop because it seems as if after Jessie Smiles produced her video in retaliation to Gabby Hannah and the subsequent videos that Gabby Hannah has made about her that we have come to a literal pause in the Gabby Hannah docu-series that Gabby was producing on her own channel. Literally we have not heard from Gabby Hannah in about two weeks which is pretty long considering her series was supposed to be released every single day until the end of the 12 slash 13 part series and at this point we don't even know if it's going to be a 13 slash 12 part series purely because Gabby Hanna's playlist Storytime Confessions of a Washed Up YouTube has been already has 12 videos in it and there are five videos that are designated to the actual series that are ranked in chapters we got to chapter five however she has produced several other videos in retaliation to other people for instance Angelica Olds manipulated a grieving mother about the three hour Jesse Smiles conversation a timeline of the friendship that didn't exist the fights that I tried to hide from you Trisha Paytas versus Gabby Hanna and the last one today's video that we are discussing sorry I'm late and besides this she also posted the three hour Jesse Smiles conversation on an unlisted video that she linked in her previous video about the three hour Jesse Smiles conversation which was the video that she released two weeks ago but before we get into all of that I do have to give a little shout out to my business Dramatic Boutique and I really do appreciate everybody's support over the pride sale that we had last month we've made a lot of sales we are sold out in a lot of stuff so i've got some restocking to do but i really do appreciate it and a lot of people were asking in the comment section last month if we ship internationally we do ship internationally we have a fulfillment location in the us as well as in the uk so if you order from the us you will get local shipping charges from the us and if you order in the uk or in the european union you will get local european union and uk shipping shipping there too and obviously besides that we do ship to US territories as well as Canada as well as Australia so don't worry I got you babe we got you over here at Dramatic Boutique so if you are interested go over to www.dramaticboutique.com and that is where you can find everything thank you guys so much for supporting my brand and also thank you guys so much for being so patient with our next launch as well because we're a small operation over here at Dramatic Boutique but you know we do what we can but thank you guys once again and let's get straight into today's video so after waiting two weeks and i mean two whole weeks for a gabby hannah video i thought that possibly we had like a come to jesus moment and that possibly that she was not going to be creating any more videos to do with this docu-series or releasing any more videos to do with this docu-series maybe that she understood all of the hurt that she'd done to her friends and that possibly something had hit home or another possible outcome that i thought of is that possibly after seeing what jesse smiles had put together in terms of her response to Gabby Hanna and the allegations that Gabby Hanna had put against Jesse Smiles and the fact that she won't even drop the entire situation that Gabby Hanna was scrambling to find more receipts more evidence to cooperate what it was that she was saying in hopes of hopefully getting people to possibly believe her but I was wrong I was so 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 wrong because Gabby Hanna decided to come back and she came back with a bang and when I say that I mean that Gabby Hanna came back Back with a video title and a thumbnail that was intentionally made to make people feel as if she had spiraled out of control. She was inside a bathtub pretty much naked with a face that made her look as if she had disassociated in some way and a title that read sorry I'm late. It was giving me Britney Spears every time vibes in the bathtub scene if you know what I'm talking about. Before I'd even click the video I was immediately immediately concerned. So Gabby Hanna starts the 3 minute and 51 second video with a black screen and then it states somewhere between hypermanic and unaliving yourself with intention. 
if you know what I mean. At this point, all you can hear is background noise and movement, and there was something instantaneously eerie about the beginning of this video. And then in the next scene, we see Gabby Hanna sitting inside a bath, eyes completely disassociated from the camera, staring blankly ahead, singing slowly, rhythmically and melodically to a tune that we've never heard before. It was honestly like freaky, freaky as <laughs> Sorry I'm late, I lost all concept of time, no need to wait. Uh, but don't know when I'll be fine Okay. I don't know, I was preparing myself for something bad. I don't know what I was preparing for, but I was preparing for something terrible. I was scared, I was nervous, I was anxious. I was like, holy crap, what is about to happen right now? I was expecting some Trisha Paytas interpretive dance, rolling around on her bed with petals all over the duvet, giving some he loves me, he loves me not, but I'm going to out his sexuality on a public platform because fuck him, drinking flower arrangement water, whilst her song Showtime plays in the background circa 2016 I was expecting a Trisha Paytas breaking up with Sean Vanderbilt level emotional breakdown that's what I was expecting <laughs> that was a moment in time but no what we got from gabby hannah was nothing like that she gave us a music video i'm just singing over this cover song i don't know if i might get copyrighted so i just want to cover my bases fuck it fuck it she gives me way too many copyright strikes and to be honest it's doing my head in so I'm gonna sing over it fuck it fuck it who cares <laughs> Oh, I'm really sorry about that. I just, I can't do with any more Gabby Hanna copyright strikes. I swear. I swear. It's doing my head in every week. I gotta fight. I'm fighting for my life. This is not me. I'm fighting for my life. Y'all killing me with this. Anyway, whilst I can say that this song is really, really good, like it's literally like an earwig, it is like, it, is that what you call it? Like an earwig, where it's like stuck in your head. Like this song is now stuck in my head. I love this song. I love the way that she's singing. She sounds so good here. But like, don't ever sing Alanis Morissette because she never hurt you. That actually wasn't the most interesting part of this video. As usual with the more recent episodes of the Gabby Hanna docu-series, she has removed the likes to dislikes ratio as well as the comment section, but she did leave an extremely long and lengthy description explaining where her head's at. And this is what Gabby Hanna had to say. I felt my mental health being compromised, so I took a step back to be a person, touch some grass, pet my cats and see my friends, write some music, paint mostly. I knew that coming into this, that it would be difficult, but I wasn't able to handle it the way that I thought I was. This series is and always has been about healing. So if it gets to a place where it no longer is serving that purpose, I'm not going to push myself into a direction that's hurting more than it's helping. This this series is not about drama. It's about my life and processing trauma. Unfortunately, a lot of that does involve people who consistently wrap me up in drama online. Trust me, I hate it too. This series is simply a documentation of a life not many people experience or see. It was also meant to be a commentary on the consistent targeted harassment and exploitation of women in media. It's meant to serve as a tool in shedding light on a very trivialized and misunderstood mental disability ADHD. 
Starting this series, I was also just starting treatment. As I was editing, I was able to look back at the situations I was describing and recognize how my lack of understanding and treatment exasperated otherwise trivial situations. I began medicating shortly after I finished filming and it changed my life. I spent so much of my life feeling like an alien on earth, not understanding why I thought differently than other people, wondering why things felt earth shattering to me felt insignificant to the rest of the world. If someone had sat me down and explained to me that I don't process the world the same as other people because my brain didn't develop like most people, I would have spent a lot less time not wanting to bleep my bleeping bleep out. This is a topic that is very dear and important to me. Men and women experience ADHD differently. The age of which you recognize and get treatment makes you experience ADHD differently. The type of ADHD makes you experience ADHD differently. Comorbidities and past trauma make you experience ADHD differently. The way that you are raised makes you experience ADHD differently. The level of severity makes you experience ADHD differently. To say that someone's disability doesn't affect them in a certain way because it doesn't affect you a certain way is incredibly ableist. A lot of people with opinions on my series haven't watched it. They've watched videos talking about me without taking the time to listen to me. It sucks, but it's life. This series is my art. It's meant to be consumed in its entirety. Not not in bits and pieces. I created it so that I could stop obsessing and for all intents and purposes, it worked. I feel myself healing and moving on. I wanted to tell my side and never speak of it again. I failed at the beginning by engaging online. Surprise, I'm impulsive and defensive. I'm also human. I found myself wanting to explain myself again and wanting to combat every new lie. Then I took a step back into the real world where I'm a pretty happy and chill person. Online, I'm a version of me that I really can't stand. From here on out, I am offline entirely. I really hope that you enjoy the rest of the series. I put a lot of time and energy into it. It helped me find myself as a person and as an artist and really pushed me to places that I was too scared to go creatively. I'm very excited to share that with you. Smiley face. So essentially from what we can see here, Gabby Hanna intends on putting out the rest of the episodes. So we are yet to see how far this is really gonna go. Obviously, as we know, as was already referenced by Gabby Hanna, there is already an entire episode on the Jessie Smiles situation. I'm really interested to know or find out if she's going to omit that part, considering she has already spoke about it at length, put out the three hour long video of the phone call that they had together, as well as sharing her side of the story again and again and again. I really hope that she drops that this time. But who knows, because again, at this point Gabby has already expressed that it's about her healing and this is the one thing that I find irritating about Gabby Hanna above everything else above talking about ADHD and stigmatizing it further is the fact that Gabby Hanna always thinks about herself and how things affect her first before anybody else and the part that she is still struggling to grasp the concept of and understand is that no matter how bad your trauma is it does not give you the right to continue to traumatize other people People because of what you have experienced. Now it's not to say that Gabby isn't valid in her feelings, I feel like no matter what way you feel, you are valid in your feelings and nobody should tell you that you can't feel the way that you're supposed to feel. Especially if the way that you're feeling comes from a place of hurt. But it doesn't mean that her feelings take precedence above everybody else's. And honestly, another thing that really annoyed me about this caption is that she speaks about this being about the constant and targeted harassment and exploitation of women in media and I just kind of can't help but laugh at the idea of that because it seems as if the majority of the people that she chooses to attack tend to be of a particular gender and they tend to be women like it's not something that is equally yoked for her she seems to be 
almost twice as aggressive when it comes to explaining her thoughts and feelings on how people are mistreating her when it comes to women and their critiques of her. So it's extremely funny to me because she seems to be the worst perpetrator of this. Because whilst other people may make critique videos about her, Angelica Oles, Ready to Glare, Rachel Oates, Jessie Smiles, Jen Dent, etc, etc, it's actually Gabby Hanna who is adding these people, tagging these people, talking about these people, sending her fans and people to attack these people via Patreon and Discord, as well as private Skype conversations and Zoom calls where her fans are involved, chatting directly to her, where she tells them you don't need to do anything, but if you want to, here's the way to do it. And essentially weaponizing her audience against these people. And to me, that feels more like the consistent and targeted harassment of women in media than a simple critique video saying, hey, you done goof. And honestly, another thing that I literally cannot stand about this whole thing is once again, how she keeps bringing it round to ADHD. It's almost like she's still using this as an excuse to pardon her behavior for why she acts or reacts in a certain way. When in reality, it might be the symptom of why you act or react in a certain way, but it doesn't mean that you're not responsible for those actions or reactions. I feel like she's continuing to stigmatize ADHD, especially the line where she says, if someone had sat me down and explained to me that I don't process the world the same as most people because my brain didn't develop like most people. Like, that would lead other people to believe that this disability is almost like a handicap in a way and that it's almost impossible for people with ADHD to function in society when in reality there is multiple numerous examples of people with ADHD who do function in societies. So it's not a case of people being ableist, it's a case of people saying be responsible for your actions, you're 30 years old. A lot of people on social media have also expressed they feel as if she is weaponizing and aliving yourself with intention and whilst I understand where they are coming from, I feel like it's also important for people to speak openly and candidly about these things because, you know, even if it does help one person maybe see a light at the end of the tunnel, I really hope that for somebody. Honestly, say what you want about Gabby Hanna, I felt extremely uplifted by that music video. She has a way with words when it comes to music. Not when it comes to poetry, but when it comes to music, she's got away with words. And I felt good, happy, positive. I just truly wish that she would use those words that she uses to uplift people in her music instead of using those same words to attack other people online. Words are extremely powerful. And I left that music video feeling a little bit better about my shitty day. As for my expectations for the rest of this series, honestly, my expectations aren't high because Gabby has said in this lengthy description box caption that she made all of these videos before she was a place of healing, a place of comfort and a place of realization. So we know that this is gonna be chaotic and probably some of the worst stuff ever. I don't know whether she wants to put that into the stratosphere and have people think a certain way about her considering this whole series was built Built off the back that Gabby Hanna struggles with the concept that other people dislike her. Even if these people, friends included, have been given a reason to dislike her. I just, a part of me, as much as I am enjoying creating this series, really truly wishes that Gabby Hanna had taken this music video as an opportunity to close this really crazy chapter. I wish that she had followed the advice of her own pre-chorus. I'm done thinking about all of the things that could go wrong because I've realized it doesn't matter at all. She has honestly already done so much right now that I don't even think that she'll ever be able to come back from some of the things that people are gonna say about her online. So at this point, she can only move on. And no matter how hard or bad things get, absolutely nobody on this platform, and I feel like this is a general consensus right now, absolutely nobody on this platform wants her to ever unalive herself with intention. But you know, maybe don't drive whilst having your phone in your hand and recording, because you can unalive other people, and that's not great. See, I can't not be critical. This is like in my bones. Anyway, 
tell me what you guys think do you guys agree with my commentary do you not agree with my commentary if you don't sound off in the comment section down below if you do you know inflate my ego a little bit more that always feels great if you like this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it if you don't i don't give a shit anyway don't forget to subscribe and to hit that notification with the bell so that you always get a notification every single time that petty page posts new content also as always please do not forget to go over to my website www.dramaticboutique.com that is where I sell my makeup and I really want to thank you once again for all of your continued support with my brand it is always just so overwhelming every single time I drop a new video and you guys go ahead and purchase it really makes my life and also we got highlighters coming soon so you know be excited anyway that is about it from me so until next time in the words of Gabby Hanna don't forget this world is about to end fuck it fuck it I'm out <laughs> this is so cheesy these bitches is petty.